Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Midnight Lab. If you're new here, my mission is simple. I engineer professional grade workflows and tools to help you master AI art. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to stay updated on new AI updates. Today, we are tackling the single most important skill in generative AI prompt engineering. It is the difference between a blurry, amateur mess and a photorealistic masterpiece. And today, I'm going to show you how to automate it completely. But first, let's talk about the problem. We've all been there. You have this incredible idea in your head. You can imagine the lighting, the mood, the perfect composition. You type it into the prompt box, you hit generate, and you get this. Weird hands, distorted faces, zero consistency. It looks nothing like what you imagined. Why does this happen? It's not because the model is bad. It's because the AI doesn't speak imagination, it speaks data. And if you aren't speaking its language, if you aren't describing the camera lens, the lighting physics, and the composition exactly right, you are going to get this weird results every time. Now, look at these. This is what happens when you speak the AI's language. Perfect lighting, realistic skin texture, cinematic composition, everything is so perfect. I get asked all the time, how do you get these amazing outputs? Are you spending hours tweaking every single word in the prompt box? The answer is no. I'm not writing these prompts manually at all. I realized that the best way to talk to an AI is with another AI. So I built a solution a dedicated engine that takes your visual idea and instantly translates it into the exact technical language, camera specs, lighting physics, shutter speeds, that models like Flux need to create perfection. Let me show it to you. Now, let me show you the Prompt Engine app. This is the fastest way to get pro-level prompts right from your browser. First, you just click the settings icon and enter your Gemini API key. If you don't have one, just click the link right here to get it for free from Google. The app saves it locally, so you only do this once. Now simply upload an image, I'll grab this portrait, then just hit generate prompt. It takes just a few seconds. And wow, look at that! It's not just describing the woman, it's describing the camera, the lens, the lighting, everything Flux needs to recreate this style. Let's try another one. Maybe something with a different vibe. Upload generate, and boom, instant, hyper-detailed prompt. And the best part? It automatically saves your history. You can see every prompt you've ever generated right here. Let's do one more. Upload and generate. Just look at that detail. It catches the minute textures, the specific lighting setup. It's like having a professional photographer write the prompt for you. When you're ready, just hit copy and you're good to go. All your history is saved right in your browser so you can come back anytime and grab a prompt you generated days ago. It's that simple. You saw the app and the best part. You don't need a GPU or don't even need to install Comfy UI. This engine runs entirely in your browser, meaning you can generate pro-level prompts from anywhere. I've also architected this for total privacy. Your API key and your entire prompt history live exclusively in your browser's local storage. Nothing is sent to my servers. You maintain complete control over your data. But a quick warning, because this data lives locally, if you clear your browser cookies or run this in incognito mode, your history will be wiped. So keep your environment persistent. So the app is perfect for speed and accessibility. But what if you're building something bigger? What if you need to process 50 images at once or feed these prompts directly into a complex generation pipeline without copying and pasting? For the power users, the architects, and the automators, I've built the prompt engine workflow. Now, if you want to integrate this intelligence directly into your pipeline, here is the prompt engine workflow. It starts here with the Florence 2 model. If you don't have it downloaded, don't worry, Comfy UI will automatically download it for you the first time you run this. I have pre-configured this for batch processing. You can upload up to six reference images at once right here. Crucially, if you are using a specific character, just type your Laura trigger word in this box. The workflow is smart enough to automatically inject that trigger into every single generated prompt. Running in parallel, we have the Joy Caption module. This is for when you need extreme detail. Just like above, select your Joy model. I've set up a batch of six images here as well. And in LoraBox, enter your trigger word. 
Now, hit Q prompt and watch the engine work. It processes both models simultaneously if you don't want use, and one of these just bypass it. And here are the results. Look at the output from Joy Caption. It is incredibly dense, capturing lighting, texture, and mood. Compare that to Florence 2, which gives you a cleaner, more direct prompt. You get both styles instantly, so you can choose the one that fits your project best. That is the power of the prompt engine workflow batch processing, character consistency, and dual model intelligence. I've made both of these tools available on my Gumroad, so you can just pick the one that fits you best. If you prefer the simplicity of the web app, so you can just generate prompts on your phone or laptop, without messing with nodes, I've set that up as a standalone tool you can grab on its own and get all future updates for lifetime. And for those of you who are deep into comfy UI or are already part of the Midnight Lab community, the workflow version is already waiting for you in the library alongside the rest of the toolkit. Just check the links below and grab whatever works for you. That's it for today. I really hope these tools help you finally get the results you've been looking for. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that drop when it's ready. Now I'm heading back to the lab and I've already started working on the next workflow. I have something really exciting planned for you guys that pushes things even further. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.